Millions in attendance here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas and the millions watching around the world. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing yellow and white and officially weighing in at 134 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one, consisting of 27 bouts, 27 victories, including 20 knockouts and a world title, along with recognition as pound for pound, one of the very best fighters in the world today. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, tonight the challenger, he's the reigning super featherweight world champion, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with red and green. And his official weight, 134 and one half pounds. His professional record, in 50 bouts he has boasted 45 victories against four defeats with one draw. His explosive power has been displayed many times, as 41 of his victories have come by knockout. Originally from Imale Sonora, now living and fighting out of Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico, presenting the reigning and defending WBC lightweight champion of the world, Jose Luis Temible Castillo. All right, gentlemen, this is a, the WBC lightweight title. You received your instructions at the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you. Any punches below this point are going to be deemed low. Any punches below this point are going to be deemed low. With that, are there any questions? Any questions for Chief Seconds? All right, remember, obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Vic Draculich hearing from the Mayweather corner to make sure that uh, the punches are kept up from Castillo. Castillo will go to the body. There will be some borderline punches. That is the style. You're not going to take that away from him because that's what he does. A determined young man to prove to people here in the States that he is a true champion and he's got his biggest test of his career tonight. Taking on a lot of power, a lot of boxing skills, the entire package. Floyd Mayweather has it. Of course, he comes from a great boxing family. His father, Floyd Sr., trains Oscar De La Hoya up in Big Bear, California. And his Uncle Rogers in his corner. Uncle Roger was a two-time world champion. Floyd comes out, goes right to the jab, works a little bit of a left hook in there. We'll see how Castillo can handle all this speed he's going to have to deal with tonight. Mayweather's in the yellow and white trunks. Castillo's in the colors of Mexico. Good crowd on hand tonight at the MGM Grand, hoping to see a really good classic fight. what happens very pro Castillo in here tonight a lot of people making the trek north of the border to see their champion take on a great American champion in Floyd Mayweather Jr. like I said many times before he is moving up in weight class but he feels like he'll be stronger because he's dominated the super featherweight division for, for so long it's, there's nothing left for him to clean out down there and he's open action to move up even further and someday get a shot at Oscar De La Hoya. He would also like to take on Costa Zoo. 
who beat his friend Jab Judah, and he didn't like that much. So he'd like to see a lot of people like to see Costa Zoo and Mayweather. Zoo's such a hard puncher. But right now, the order of the day is Jose Luis Castillo, who unleashed a hook right there that missed a little bit, but he's going to try to release some punches and do some damage and slow down Mayweather by going to the body if he can. Referees Vic Draculich. Good right hand from Mayweather who looked awfully determined right there to land a big shot. Round one scheduled for 12 for the WBC lightweight championship of the world currently held by Jose Luis Castillo in the white trunks with the red and green trim. Final seconds of round one will be going inside Castillo's corner and we will interpret what we hear from his trainer, the legendary Romolo Chiarati Sr. Well, you heard what Roger had to say. We can't out thank you. Keep him in front of you. Round two scheduled for 12 for Las Vegas at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. World title on the line. Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the yellow and white trunks against Jose Luis Castillo. Oh, big left hand. They're gonna wave it off as a slip, but it looked like a punch to me. We'll have to look at it later. I guess he hopped out of the way and tripped over himself. But he was falling toward me, so I didn't really see how it might have landed or not landed because he was right up in front of me. But it sounded like a big punch. Looked like it. But the referee, Vic Draculis, just ruled it a slip and they went on about their business. These, you can see an example. Uh oh, no, we've got a, we've got a clash of heads here, which is exactly what we didn't want to see. And a bloody nose there. I don't see any blood coming from there. That hurt though when your noses collide like that. Round two scheduled for 12. If there was an accidental headbutt after four rounds, they would go to the cards. But you just sense the strength that Mayweather has when he's in the ring. He's so powerful and quick that in any second he could land a big punch. A la Roy Jones, all the great ones have it. Steele trying to loosen up and get a little busy and try to fight his fight a little bit more, which is going to be with the heavy punches and the body punching. Mayweather holding him off as they go into a clutch right there. Jose Luis Castillo is the former Mexican featherweight champion, unbeaten in three defenses. With this title of the WBC, Mayweather looking to pick off another belt for his career after cleaning out the super featherweight division and moving up to the lightweight division. About a half a minute to go in round two. Castillo beginning to loosen up and use a little more footwork, trying to match speed for speed, which he probably won't be able to do in this fight. Mayweather is so patient and looks for his spots. It's almost scary to see how patient he could be in the ring. Because he's not intimidated at all by anybody. A little bit of a right hand over the top from Castillo. Ten seconds left round two. And now the little infighting here is a little kidney jab from Mayweather. He finds a spot, he sees a spot, he hits it. That's the way he works. See it, hit it. We'll try to get some. Castillo's in okay, the, for the fight of his life, and he already knows it. 
Jose Luis Castillo, the champion in the white trunks with the red and green trim, the challenger. Floyd Mayweather in the white with the yellow trim. And the yellow side is actually half and half his trunks. Now Castillo's going to come out and try to see if he can't force a little bit on him. And if you're tuning in, you're wondering, well, how could Mayweather not be the champion? He's been he's moved up for one weight class, but he still holds the super featherweight title, but he's moving up to the lightweight division. Mr. Steele's held this title through three defenses now. The title that Castillo took away from Stevie Johnson of Denver in a big upset in California. Steel beginning to get in the flow of it. The crowd is uh, chanting USA. <laughs> USA versus Mexico out there. But it is a very pro Castillo crowd out here. Excellent fight fans from Mexico. Every time one of the champions comes up in Nevada. Nothing much to do in this round at all, but you get the sense sometimes that Mayweather wants to see things like that. Try to see if he can't land something, but he's not going to stand there and get hit, that's for sure. He's fighting a guy who has to go to the body, who has to use his power if he has any chance in this fight. But when you're up against such quickness and foot speed as Mayweather, not to mention so much power with his balance, he's got tremendous balance. <laughs> Stalking. He's trying to stay right in front of Mayweather. Good punch. He led with the left and came back with the right. The crowd loved it. Mayweather stepping down and through. Final seconds of the round. Castillo still trying to apply some pressure. Mayweather just steps around it. We are scheduled for 12. We're in the fourth round, scheduled for 12. For the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World. Mayweather picks up the pace a little bit here at the start of round four. big right over the top there didn't miss by much but he's been anxiously awaiting to be able to land that punch Steele tries to come in and hits nothing but air to catch sometimes he wants to get him in self position when he wants to deliver he wants to do it on his own terms and he can throw with power from different angles referee warning about clash of heads be careful
crowd getting a little restless. Again, when I say stop punching, stop punching, okay? Keep that head Warning up. from Vic Draculich, and you heard what he said. Flashed uppercut, just missed from Mayweather. Now Castillo's grabbing him. He's trying to, <laughs> trying to slow him down somehow. Castillo had his hand around his waist for a good four or five seconds there. Because I guess it can get frustrating. Castillo would like nothing better than to turn this into a street fight. A little bit of an uppercut but just missed. The crowd responds, but Mayweather wasn't hurt. Final seconds, round four. There you have it. A nodding approval from the corner of Castillo. We're in the fifth round. Pretty good left hand from Castillo right there. Quick right hand for Mayweather. Just walked across and delivered it. I don't think the steel even saw it coming. Yeah, he's he turned around. Mayweather from time to time will turn himself around and go left-handed. Now he's back to right-handed, but he'll do that. He'll get in that southpaw stance and then just try to smack you with the straight right hand, which he loves to throw. But now he's back on his right hand side. A little left hook inside that just almost landed at Castillo. Come in and lead with. Almost a clash of heads there. They avoided it. There's some body work that Castillo wanted to do. Now Floyd's just kind of pushing him back. left hand in there. Nice jab. Crowd getting into it now. We're in the fifth round, scheduled for 12. Floyd Mayweather Jr., one of the greatest fighters in the world today, only seems to get better, but he's taking on a guy who feels like he doesn't get any respect and he wants to earn it tonight. Jose Luis Castillo. <laughs> Fast right hand. Castillo keeps coming now. Now they're getting into it a little bit. Castillo wants this. That's the end of the round. Mayweather comes over and taps gloves with him, said that was fun. Before the end of that round, Floyd went over and tapped gloves with Jose Luis Castillo, said, yeah, that was fun. I think the crowd would like it if they'd show us some more fun. Castillo might have earned a little confidence for the last seconds of that round. Scheduled for 12, we're coming up on the halfway point in the sixth round. Jose Luis Castillo has a major problem 
dealing with the speed from Mayweather. He's afraid if he opens himself up, he's going to get caught in something he doesn't even see is coming, which has happened to a lot of opponents of Floyd Mayweather. You have to respect the speed. Scheduled for 12, world title on the line, which belongs to Jose Luis Castillo in the lightweight division. Castillo's corner wanted him to keep his poise and his confidence high. Got a little bit frustrated that round and went after Mayweather and had a takedown. To use a wrestling term. Good body punch for Castillo to the right side, the left side, rib cage of Mayweather. Now Mayweather goes in and attacks and steps back out. Castillo likes that. Gives him more opportunities to throw punches. Mayweather hitting off his footwork, off his jab coming off his footwork is hard to catch him. Castillo threw a pretty hard punch inside. He got the crowd excited. Halfway through round seven, scheduled 12. They spin around and do a little dance on the ropes. But Dracula steps in and stops that. Mayweather looking to go downstairs a little bit. Watch the elbows. Watch the elbows. A short chopping right hand over the top. Mayweather lures him into it, then pops him up side the head. Castillo trying to keep his poise. Nice jab, Mayweather. One 
one for more. One more warning about the elbows. Mayweather may be in trouble getting a point taken away if he has to warn him again. Pretty nice little jab with the steel. Mayweather hits and moves. Throwing that jab out there, then moving out of harm's way. Now he sets himself down in sort of a haunch and gets ready to throw punches and steps out when Castillo takes the bait. A little bit of a short left hand inside. Castillo throwing punches down the bottom. Good right hand for Castillo. Mayweather standing there looking at him, saying, What's going on here? Final seconds. Mayweather just smiles at Castillo. He does whatever he wants to do, and sometimes it doesn't look exactly orthodox or what you think he should do, but Mayweather's got his own style because he's so talented and so quick. He can make up for a lot of mistakes he might make. Well, watch him throw that lunging jab as he goes in. It's a very effective punch for him. Now, you get the sense Castillo wants to get busy. We'll see if he can. Castillo has... 50 professional fights, 41 knockouts. Mayweather is 27 and 0 with 20 knockouts. So it's a high percentage knockout for both of these fighters. Because Castillo spent most of his work down in Mexico learning his trade. He was the former Mexican featherweight champion. He likes to keep a fast pace. He keeps trying to keep the pressure on. It's just hard to hit something that moves away so quickly. <laughs> Round eight. Nice flicking jag from Mayweather. We heard Castillo's corner wanted him to go downstairs, but I haven't seen him try to throw any body punches yet. I think. He'd like to land any punch. <laughs> Certainly haven't followed up the final seconds of the last round into this round. But they might have a flurry toward the end. That's what's been the tendency in this fight. Castillo leaning in, trying to work the body. Mayweather jumps out, throws that right hand out there. That's what the one that Castillo saw and tripped under his own feet when it was coming at one time. Kind of a desperation punch you just saw from Castillo that missed by about two or three feet. Now Mayweather starts to pepper him a little bit with some short jabs. and warned and warned about elbows. He just warned Floyd again about the elbows. Now we got the timeout. Too much Vaseline on the face. So Dracula brings him back out, and here we go. Round number nine scheduled for 12. Now Castillo throws the to punches, and Mayweather's holding his arm down. Steele just wants to go. Good hard left hand for Mayweather. Another one. Now it's kind of turned into a little bit of a street fight, a little wrestling match. Draculich has got his hands full, as we said earlier. Now they touch gloves. Maybe they'll make nice for a little while. But you never know. Every time Castillo tries to get a little more busy, 
May the, Mayweather responds, being the champion that he is, by getting even more busy. And just when Castillo thinks he can get in there and throw some punches, he keeps getting tied up, and facing that little jab. Castillo's trying to get across there and throw the big punches. Roger Mayweather didn't have much to say to his fighter between those rounds. Roger knows what he's talking about, two-time world champion. He just said, you're doing fine. Done in this round, is that's for sure. And Mayweather's content to allow, not do anything. Crowd is now jeering. Mostly the Castillo camp, not happy with not seeing their guy be able to get in there and land some effective punches. Rip punch from Mayweather. He's done that a couple of times on this night. And you'd expect to see that from Castillo trying to hit Mayweather. But Mayweather's very elusive target, to say the least. That's not where he wants to be. Now back out the center of the ring. Castillo's got 20 seconds to make something happen in round nine. Missed. It would have been pretty effective. Now that now they punched after the bell. Big Dracula may make a decision to take a point away from Mayweather. Like I said, this trainer, Ramon Chiaki Sr., is a legend down in Mexico. He trains his fighters out of Tijuana. One of the best there is. He's brought this guy along from obscurity to a world championship. Mayweather, that chopping overhand right. Oh, there's a good combination for Mayweather. There's the left. He follows up the left with the right. It's very effective. Castillo felt those punches. We're in the 10th round, scheduled for 12, the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World, held by the man in the white trunks with the green and red trim, Jose Luis Castillo. The man who's trying to take it away from him is in the yellow and white trunks, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Now he turns over and winks at the camera. <laughs> Floyd just winked at the broadcast over here to let him know that he's fine. <laughs> He'll do that from time to time. Still not able to find anything but air. Floyd's content to stand there and counter him. There's a good left hand jab right to the nose of Castillo. He might be getting a little more frustrated. His, his corner was trying not to have him frustrated. He's in the tenth round. Good right hand from Mayweather. Mayweather might want to take care of business. We'll see. Now the punching in the back. Castillo showing a little frustration there. I haven't seen that in a while. He was punching all around his body, just trying to find something to hit. When you've been out there for 10 rounds and you can't find anything to hit, you'll take what you can get. <laughs> Last warning for pushing off from Dracula. She's been telling uh, Mayweather all night about that. So.
Steele trying to unload over there. Well, he's got Floyd on the ropes. Now Floyd's going to hold him. And as they break, he sneaks in a little punch. Dracula's. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. I told you you'd have a busy night. Just took the point away from Mayweather, so they're even in that department. There'll be no more complaints about that. But Dracula has been talking to Mayweather about his elbow the entire night. So he finally just said, that's it. 11th round. Roger Mayweather. Oh, there with the balance. Floyd jumped right on him. <laughs> the steel looked like he was in a daze for a second. There's some punches downstairs. Dracula's keeping an eye on things. Roger Mayweather told his nephew to sit down, punch, and move on. That's pretty simple what that means. Yep. And that's below the belt. We're going to keep him up a little bit. That was just below the Grant sign on Mayweather's belt. hand Mayweather likes to throw over the top when he gets a chance to do it. But you would have to say that neither fighter's really been hurt tonight to any extent. Steele's trying to throw down there on the belt line. Downstairs, once again, Castillo Awfully close to throwing low blows, and Floyd's standing there and taking it right now. He's already had one point taken away for an elbow. Dracula's didn't want Mayweather leaning on him so much. Halfway through round 11, 12 round championship fight from the MGM Grand. Crowd is chanting Castillo, Castillo. Somebody will counter with USA in a minute. So. Nice little right hand for Mayweather inside. Counter with Castillo wants him. Look at the speed for Mayweather. Mayweather, for some reason, this round has decided to stand right in front of Castillo. That's not what his uncle told him to do, but Floyd is so talented he can pretty much do whatever he wants to do. Steele's a determined fighter, but he doesn't have the speed to match up. Steele's worked hard to get that championship, get those big paydays, but you don't have the God-given speed and the balance and the ability that Mayweather does. What are you going to do about it? Not much. Now they're throwing a little bit. Steele's really been throwing downstairs in this round, throwing a lot of body punches, trying the uppercuts. Under 20 seconds left, round 11. Still trying to grind out something, trying to land a big punch. Still throwing down there. He's finally figured out he might have to throw around the stomach. We're going to go to a final round here for the MGM Grand, and I got a feeling that uh, it could be a little bit wild. We'll have to see. Romulo is uh, telling uh, Jose Luis Castillo to do it for his sister, Mercedes Castillo. Died at age 15 last December of leukemia, three days before Christmas. And Romolo wants his fighter to dig down and do it for his sister. Little Mercedes was only 15 years old. I'm sure if Big Brother could do it, he'll do it right now. It's awfully tough. He's in against a, one of the best fighters in the world, talent-wise, and people can see that from watching the way he can move and jab. That was a good left hand for Floyd. We're in the 12th and final round. The lightweight championship of the world. Steele's corner's done a good job tonight of trying to keep him from getting discouraged because he hasn't been able to go out there and do what he really wanted to do. 
that's the price you pay when you're fighting a fighter of Mayweather's caliber. There's not a thing he doesn't have as a prize fighter. There's a little low punch down on the hip for Castillo. Very quick left hand for Mayweather as he throws and steps back. Halfway through the final round now. Still, still trying to find the mark. Good right hand from Castillo. Best one he's thrown. Mayweather unfazed by it. Mayweather counters and punches his way out of it. One minute left in the final round coming up on. Be interesting to see what the judges were looking for in this fight. I try not to speculate. The last couple of rounds, Castillo was able to throw some of those body punches. Center of the ring, final 30 seconds. Castillo knows he's got to go. He's trying just to let it go now. He's just trying to let his hands go. Mayweather complaining in the past about his hands. He's had some bad hands. Pretty solid punch for Castillo right there. Under 10 seconds left. Both fighters look a little spent at this point. Five seconds left. Castillo is still trying to land a punch. And that's that. They're still fighting after the bell. Both fighters up on the ropes are up in the air with their hands in the air. Like he just took a stroll. <laughs> so calm. Floyd really knows this business and he knows he's good and he delivers every time out. Waiting for the announcement from Michael Buffer. Budweiser scorecards. John Kane and Jerry Roth both have it 115 to 111. Enik Hong Tong Kam scores it 116 to 111 for the winner by unanimous decision and new lightweight champion of the world, the undefeated pretty boy. out in the last two rounds with instructions from your trainer, your uncle Roger, which he said you had to stand and fight him. Were you under the impression that the fight was very close at that time and that you had to pull it out? Well, first of all, you know, before I even, you know, answer that question, I want to say, you know, you know, Grant Boxing, you know, he got the best gloves in the business, the best outfits in the business. We don't do commercials. Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to give him some props. Of course I know you don't, but this is my time to shine. And so let me, you know, let me, let me have my, you know, my, my piece and speak my piece. Um, you know, I want to thank God for this victory. I mean, it, it was tough, you know. The, the last, you know, my last training day, I hurt, I hurt my, um, I think my rotator cuff in my left shoulder. So I wasn't able to use my jab like I wanted to. My, my left wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. But I ain't want to have no excuses like, you know, like other champions when they when they get hurt, they just they don't even show up to the fight. I get hurt, I I, I keep fighting. I want to bring the fans, you know. Big All right, fights. now, but but answer the question: Were you under the impression, given the instructions from your corner, that you really had to stand and fight him in the last two rounds? That it was very, very close. Actually, my uncle said I was wearing him down. So he told me to, you know, he told me that in all my big fights, you know, if you wear a guy down like around the 10th and 11th, 12th, you know, stand there, you know, and break him down. So I wasn't even worried at all. I, I was out boxing him easy. 
was he much tougher than you anticipated? You, after all, said this was an easy fight en route to bigger fights. You gotta realize, I beat this guy with a messed up arm. My arm is messed up. But I, I don't have no excuse. I don't ever back down to turn off fights. I'll but it was, so it was a harder fight than you anticipated with what you came into the with ring one, with. with? With one arm, yes. One arm, yes. If you want to rematch, we can do it again. So are you suggesting that you think, given the fact that a lot of people here believe that he won the fight, that you think you should give him a rematch? This is boxing. You have ups, you have downs. He was a good fighter. It was a good fight for both of, the, both of us. It was a good learning experience for me. And, and I'm looking forward to moving on. Moving All right, on you moved up in weight and you fought a very strong lightweight. Did you find out that it was a little different than you had anticipated? No, not at all. I fought the best lightweight, because that's what I want. I want an exciting fight. So I moved up to fight the best lightweight they got out there. And, um, you know, like I said before, I mean, I took my time and went out there and done what I had to do.